What comes to mind when you think carbon fiber guitar? Is it strong? Is it plastic? Or is it fake? <gasps> Well, we are going to find out today with one of the world's premium earst carbon fiber guitars, the Lava Me 2, the second generation carbon fiber from Lava. Is it any good? Let's find out. Hey guys, this is Chester here. You guys are watching our channel right here at Chester and Unboxing. So, today we will be taking a look at one of N one of a more unusual guitar that is, you know, good. So what is unusual? So what 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 what, what do you usually think of guitar? Like when I ask you what is a guitar usually made of, most people would say wood, right? I mean other than wood, what else? Metal man? Plastic man? No. But there is actually a alternate material called carbon fiber and yeah carbon fiber you know use laptop la use airplane la, all the stuff like that but carbon fiber has been used in guitar for a while now but the problem with carbon fiber is that yes it's lightweight it's strong but it cannot faithfully reproduce what a traditional wood guitar will sound or feel actually so that's where this comes in so this is actually a second generation of their series the first one used to be called lava me now it's lava me 2 so this is basically a carbon fiber travel sized guitar that aims to overcome some of the traditional limitations of your typical carbon fiber guitar so like just now what we were saying you know it's too plasticky la it's too fake feeling la fake sounding la you know stuff like that Anyway, let's open this up now, but before that, let's take a look at some of the accessories that they give. First up, they will give you a user manual. So yeah, I mean, guitar, guitar lah, user manual. Ah, uh, hold it there. Mm -hmm. This guitar, right, is very unique because it's not only, it not only just produces the sound, but it actually has a few tricks up its sleeve. More about that in a moment. Huh? Anyway, when you open it, you'll receive this colorful, looking picture it's actually a poster right it's by the by lava music there is a different path to think of instruments there are fresh ways to design differently more to the meat of it so this is the manual itself so yes this guitar actually comes with their free boost tech which is another way of their saying their amplification. So it has pretty cool stuff like that. So it has a few effects built in. So if you refer to the manual, right, they'll actually tell you on the different settings and the modes that you can do. Also included is this cool looking premium pick set. Pick, pick set. Yeah, so they have small, uh, medium and big. I'm not sure what is the thickness, but oh well. If you are that kind of person who likes this kind of premium picks, this is a good one to keep. And it comes with a USB cable. This is a micro USB. Unfortunately, not USB-C, but better than nothing, like, I guess. Yeah, so this cable, this, this USB is the one for you to recharge your onboard electronics. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit weird. And last but not least, this will only come if you have purchased the premium set. So this is actually the Lava strap so you know at first thought right i thought this was just going to be you know it's just another strap lah so i initially turned down the offer but upon closer inspection i realized this is not just a strap so inside the strap also got another manual what the hell strap also got manual anyway let's take a look ideal strap pro so pro is there a pro max Okay, so there is basically a very quick description of the different ways that you can use the strap. So it, the the way you fasten the strap is a bit like a ruler. Uh, sorry, a, a belt. So you, you clip it onto place and everything. Take a look at the strap itself. You can see that <coughs> it is made of leather. Mm, smells like leather. Mm, has a bit of the oily. Still got a bit of the oily, oily thing. Yeah. Anyway, I've been told that yeah, it is not assembled yet, so you have to assemble it yourself. So it comes with two pieces. This is one, the main one, and two, the second one. This is the the, the part of the, the the belt part. 
So I'm guessing you just slide it in. I'm guessing lah. So after you select the, you're happy with the length. I, I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. Then you just. Oh no. Day two, day three, day four. So after you are happy with the length, you just press, just press it. One eternity later. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so uh, all in all, because this is leather, mm, smell, smells good. All in all, because this is leather, so just be a bit careful with the strap. They actually have the strap lock, so if you can see, you can see the thing moving. Yeah, so you basically, you, you, you clamp this two down as you clip it onto the guitar. And then it will basically lock it. Let's open the guitar right now. This is the guitar. So yes, this is the Lava Me 2. I actually got the black version because understated beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Anyway, uh, moving on, you have your standard Lava Me 2. Uh, yeah, the QR code, the original design by Lava Music, so on and so forth. Okay, let's just go through a very quick uh, recap, alright? So this is a travel-sized, full unibody carbon fiber. What that means is, is unibody, which means that this is all one piece. Most guitars, right, the body is one piece and then the neck is another piece, right? And then they join it together. The Lava Me 2 is actually singular. Like, you can see that it is joined together. This is one piece, so you cannot actually adjust anything so i live in a region where humidity is a bitch serious we, are, we, we, we like like serious our daytime right our humidity level is like on average it's like 70 80 plus percent and when it's raining it's 95 to 98 Holy and moly. when it's you know that in between phase it's like 100 to 105 percent it's crazy just so you know normal guitars can only uh, are recommended to live within a 50 percent to 60 percent humidity range so yeah, needless to say, guitars in our region here, they need a lot of care. That is why the market for this exists. So they actually have a honeycomb, this guitar actually has a honeycomb pattern that boasts up to 300% more stronger than the previous generation. Okay, so in terms of temperature resistance, it can actually tolerate from minus 20 degrees all the way until 90 degrees Celsius. That, that is a very, very wide range. From between 10% to 90% humidity. So yes, this guitar is very, very resistant. So yeah, just now I was talking a bit about the free boost electronics, right? So basically they, they live up here. So the free boost technology is freaking cool. So most guitars, right, they are they don't have any you know effects so on. It's more like you plug in and then you can adjust the volume and some is you can adjust the mic level like the Airbox Anthem. So what this is you actually have a multi effect set built into the guitar. So I'll go through every one by one. Okay, the first knob, right, the most left hand side is the delay or chorus so all because you cannot have both you there's a switch underneath where you can adjust either chorus or delay but this knob right it doesn't really adjust the volume of the delay or the chorus it more or less adjusts the duration so if it's delay it's like how long or how short the delay is and then for the chorus it's more or less the depth of it unfortunately there is no tap tempo so the tap tempo is available in the lava me pro version the, the the bigger sized one okay the center knob is the reverb so it's, it's pretty cool i actually tried it the reverb right it basically does what you think it does it does, it does it reverbs so from zero to hundred and then the right hand side one is the volume knob so to turn it on press and hold until you see a light yeah then at the light when it lays the light means it's, it's on la. then if you want to turn it off you can just press and hold to turn it off this guitar's pickup right it actually has both the piezo pickup which means the under saddle one and the and an internal mic so that mic level right, actually adjusts how little or how much you want it to sound so to the left means it has more most of it piezo and on the right means it's more on the mic side so it depends on the venue and depends on your personal taste as to 
how you want the sound to be. So let's give this a quick try. Uh, I'll let you guys be the judge as to which one you're like. So the first test, what I'm going to do now is just the pickup alone, purely piezo. Alright, this is test. Oh, by the way, no effects, yeah. So this is purely piezo with raw first and then with uh, max reverb and some delay. Alright, here we go. Okay, now we're going to be testing with just an external microphone. Just a reminder, this is the Audio-Technica AT2035. That's actually been the one producing all the audio this time. No effects. Now, same thing, external microphone with effects. Okay, so that was the sound test of the Lava Me 2. So couldn't really play a lot because there were a lot of different modes to try. So I actually played as close as possible so that you guys can actually compare the different sounds and which one you guys prefer. So put in the comment section actually, which sound setting do you actually prefer to your taste? All right. Anyway, by the way, uh, this goes in clean, yeah. There is no like extra processing, everything. This guitar goes straight into the audio interface. So there is no shenanigans, all right? Okay, so now all right, well, I just want to talk a bit about the number of frets and the scale length and everything. This is actually an 18 fret model. So it definitely belongs to the... Uh, in terms of scale length, this guitar has a... I think it's around 24 inches of the scale length. So. In terms of absolute like length, right, the fret length, it is a little bit smaller than your full-sized ones, but it is not like super 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 small. So at least for beginners and advanced players, this guitar will be a very welcome addition. So the overall dimensions, right, the height of it, which means the total length of it, it is 36.87 inches. Okay, the width, it is... 12, uh, sorry, the, the width from here to here, it is 12.7 inches and the thickness is about 4.63 inches, okay? And yeah, just a very quick thing to take note, the material for the nut and the saddle is plastic, okay? So if you want to upgrade it to bone, that'll be even better, it'll make this guitar sustain even stronger, the bass even bassier, you know, stuff like that. But this guitar does not have pins, so something to take note about that. 
the back, right? I just want to say a little bit about the back. Okay, so this is the ideal back tool. That's what they are calling it. Okay, but uh, the back itself is pretty cool. Like you can see here, it is actually molded to the shape of the Lava Me Two itself. Okay, so you can see inside is technically soft, but outside this is quite hard. So this is what we call a hybrid back. So you can actually use this and put in your airplane and something to cool. So the length, the, the dimensions of the bag, right, is not too big. So you can actually put this bag at the overhead compartment of the aeroplane. So I know that that will be a welcome addition to some because you don't need to factor in the weight and everything in as part of your baggage when we can travel again, which I really hope so. Cross my fingers. <laughs> okay, but now comes to the cons on what I think is not really very good about this bag. One there is no freaking pockets there is no pocket there's no front pocket there's no sub pocket there's no nothing zero none na zero nothing and yeah i hate it because i don't want to carry a second bag you know when i'm carrying this guitar bag because it's, it's really very annoying and what if you need to bring things like uh, your your cables your strap your capo your tuner nothing you cannot you have to bring a secondary bag which is quite annoying Okay, second is that it doesn't have the bottom stands, so which means that this guitar bag cannot stand on its own. Ah, so what that means is when you put the bag up right, right, it will never stand like that. It will always like, you know, slant or tilt or fall. So you need to always be leaning it on a surface or on a corner of the wall. No, God, please, Damn no. Okay. And last but not least, which something I really, 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 really don't like is that when you put the guitar inside the bag, right? It moves around. Huh? I thought the purpose of the guitar bag is to secure the guitar inside and outside. Yeah, so I don't really understand why this is designed. Maybe it's on purpose, maybe it's on accident. I don't know. But when you put the guitar inside the bag, right, and then you close it up, like when you shake the bag, you can actually hear the guitar boom, 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 moving around. Ah! I mean, you think, okay, la, small, la, one, one CM, two CM. Yeah, but over time, those boom, 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 it's going to damage your guitar, especially the machine heads which are quite fragile. So I really hope they can, you know, fix some of these issues in the next generation. Apart from that, it's a very lightweight guitar bag and the strap holders are leather. So, you know, nice premium touch. Okay, if not, I believe that will be the end of our unboxing and review and look on the Lava Me 2 travel sized acoustic guitar. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. I'm Chester, that's all for today. See you guys.